What's up, everybody? Welcome to Talking Shit, episode 97. My name is Barrett Courtney. I'm one of your hosts. And here, joined with me, are my two great co-hosts and even better friends, the bisexist from Texas, Henry Montiero. Welcome to hell. And over here is my favorite chunky punk, Ricky Baldazan. Die, you call me fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and here, joined with us this week, we have two, not one, but two special guests, both from Irrational Passions. Not one, not three, but two. And also not four. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. Both from irrationalpassions.com, the esteemed irrational passions. Over here, we've got Brian Nobish and Jackson. Jump, jump. And over here, rounding up the group, the master of ass down face up, Alex O'Neill. What's up? Uh, I don't have a clever introduction. This is me nervous <laughs> saying <it>. something. <laughs> Fucking Alex, you piece of shit. Does that mean shit. I can call him the two life crew now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, how are we all doing this week? You, uh, you two just just flew in like an hour ago. Yeah. How how is your flight? Tell me about your flights. Tired. Tired. Yeah, I mean, you never sleep ever, so that's yeah. not a fucking surprise. <laughs> Last time you were on the show, like, you came on and you were like, I just watched I just watched Inside Out on a flight, and I was really tired, and I cried. So you, that's, a, that's a hard show to follow up right there. Plus. <laughs> that's a very emotional movie, it, and... It is, it is. I did cry yeah. on a plane full of people with a girl <laughs> next to me staring at me like I'm a fucking sociopath. So, yeah... I mean, how was your flight? No, I'm just yeah, how was your flight? <laughs> it was pretty fine. Nothing too, uh, nothing too out there. He's like, I didn't cry. What do you do on planes to like keep yourself? Yeah, going? like you listen to music or video games or. Uh, see, like it's it's always different when I fly. Like sometimes, like I can read when I fly, and sometimes I can't. Like yeah. motion sick, and I guess it's just like the the plane I'm on. I, this time I could play video games. It was no problem. I was playing okay. Persona dancing all night and like okay. um. You danced all night with my fingers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <holy. laughs> this is the future. Yeah. Yeah. Jazz <laughs> hands and magic fingers <laughs> is apparently how you play Persona. Jazz hands all night. and magic fingers are a lady's best friend. Just to let you know. <laughs> all right. And, like, Shut up. Podcast, like, <laughs> I wasn't really be doing anything. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys have anything else? Uh, any highlights from this last week? You guys want to? I mean, wanna it's the first time I've. Seen option ever. First time I'm not working. Yeah, ever, so. this is yeah you this worked your ass off to, to be, get here to, to San be Francisco. here to enjoy it to meet cool people and mm-hmm. I'm enjoying I mean, it so far. You, yeah, you, you haven't met the cool people yet. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just you know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty goddamn. I met man. Ricky. <laughs> yeah, you two, you two have finally. Yeah. Get an You're like, all right, don't touch me. I was, tell- I was telling <laughs> Barrett this morning, getting up. I got up at seven. Yeah. And um, I'm like, I just got out of the shower. I'm getting dressed, and my girlfriend wakes up, and she's just like, "Oh, are you already leaving?" And I was just like, "No, I got up early. Just went to go get in the shower, kind of wake up a bit." She's like, oh, "Are you gonna fight him?" Referring to you. <laughs> <laughs> get ready like this whole proud. week was just like I'm gonna beat this mother. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. Whenever I bring you up, Ricky always says like I'm gonna fight him. <laughs> you wanna don't fight? know why. No. Hey, every time I he talks fun, about, though. Yeah. Every time he talks about kind of funny life too, I just go I can't wait to beat the shit out of Greg Miller. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you two here are here for kind of funny life too. You guys excited? You guys have any fun expectations or? Uh, anything you're hoping for this week? No, I'm just up for anything and down with anything. So yeah, I'm, yeah like, I'll do it. I'm excited just like to hang out with you know the family, get the yeah. family back together. They're going to light this fucking house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the kind By of, the end of this podcast, this house will be on fire. The kind of family. <laughs> the kind of family. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see a bunch of people. You get to go this time, Barry. I do get to go this time. I didn't, get, uh, I didn't get to go last year. And this time I'm really busy, you know. Uh, Last uh, last time you were here was which was for PSX. The only content that I really recorded was talking shit with you. And well, to we, be fair, it was like seventeen hours of it. <laughs> that was when we did. <laughs> that's when we did talking shit like super differently. It wasn't actually a podcast. It was like we had another show called Quick Reviews, which has been canceled. And yeah, because we can't if, fucking if review see, three <laughs> things each. If you want to see a grown man cry, you can watch my quick review. Of, yeah, of Inside Out. Of Inside it's Out. it's pretty fun. I uh, watched the fourth episode of this where me and Ricky tag team Alex. <laughs> <laughs> but this time around, I get to cry. <laughs> like I, I helped uh, some mod people help uh, help them out with community events. I live in SF, so it was it was good to have like someone on the inside guide guide them through. Like, oh, where should we have meetups and whatnot? And so I was able to help out with that. So I'm going to be super busy, like helping people out and guiding people to like a community events. But also, I'm recording a shit ton of content this week. Doing let's plays with you, doing let's plays with you, and I'm doing let's plays with like. 
Trevor Starkey, Tom Hawkins. Fuck Trevor Starkey. And Andrew. Just kidding, I love you, Trevor. I always fucking forget Andrew's last name. Andrew Taylor. Andrew Taylor. For some reason, I want to call him, up him on Andrew Facebook. Jackson. For some reason. Andrew Jackson. <laughs> that was, in fact, the president. Um... <laughs> Fuck these guys. How 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 did you uh, how's your guys this week been? I got back from Portland. You got a tattoo. I did. Show off your tattoo to the people. It's a lovely right. camera. Uh, it's Charlie Brown, and he's he's sad and angry. He's angry, and it's all scabby. And who wants to touch it? No, don't. No, touch don't it. touch it. <laughs> don't. Yeah. So your trip with, to Portland was was fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, your mom came to my store uh, a couple a couple of days ago and asked her how she felt about the tattoo. She was like, "I wish I." Oh, known. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was proud of like what you picked, but she was like, "I wish I had known beforehand that you're actually getting one." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I wish I had known too. <laughs> he just woke up one day and had this Charlie Brown tattoo for some reason. Yeah, I have a tattoo here and a kidney scar here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ricky, you were on the show last week. I was you not. You were in Sacramento. You were making yeah. the big bucks. Yeah. You were, you're, you weren't making the big bucks, but you were making the bucks. Yeah. Uh, you I were, had a dollar. Uh, <laughs> you, you were working uh, some festivals up in Sacramento. How yeah. Was that? It was cool. Um, was just right. kind of like trying to save money for the what, What's the stuff? band that we always like to bring up whenever he works? Uh, the Raytones. The Raytones were the Raytones. No, uh, they were not there. No. <laughs> I wish they were. They would didn't have made play more the exact same set over and over again. No, I wish. Okay. I wish they did. Okay. Um, but yeah, we were just. Hey, no, the Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Should I explain to them what the Raytones are quickly? Yeah, give a, give a quick synopsis uh, so, of so, what the Raytones. So are. the Raytones are three guys that they're pretty much uh, like the Wiggles. But they wear like Hawaiian shorts, cargo. Tell sh- me more about these Hawaiian-, <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian shirts, cargo shorts, fedoras, and Tell low top Converse, all co- color coordinated. You just saw three <laughs> Jimmy Buffets. <laughs> um, and that's only the two guys. The third guy dresses up in a rhino costume, like a mascot outfit, but like in a pimp suit, and comes out and dances with kids. Is, is, <laughs> is he in a pimp suit and also a rhino costume, or is the rhino costume also in a pimp suit? It's like no, a he rhino. Happens to be wearing a pimp suit <laughs> under. The it's, rhino. it's like a rhino head with like the hands and the feet. Oh, the hands. And then it's just he's just wearing a pimp suit. Oh. And like a fedora on top of the mask. I really, not a good I word. really it wish it really was like isn't. a rhino with a pimp suit. And well, it's like an like all white cool pinstripe, yeah, yeah. like if you ever want to face type of, of what the fuck weird shit goes on in San Francisco, the ray tones are like the epitome of like what the fuck <laughs> what is What the this? fuck is weird? Pimping rhino? Yeah. Um I did that. I went to the you Saturday. Went to the Giants game? I saw Philip. You saw Philip, Philip Burkett, friend yeah, of the yeah. show. How's yeah. he doing? Good. Yeah. It was nice running into him. He he was talking about running into you. Oh, yeah. And so here, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, you, we've never really mentioned Philip on the show. But Philip, high school friend of ours. Yeah. And we, in high school, we used to play this game where we'd scoop each other's nipples. It wasn't really a game. Oh, yes. It yeah. was a sign more of, of a respect. Way of life. It was more of a respectful a, thing. Yeah. A big and every, every once in a blue moon, <laughs> I will run into Philip. And neither of us will ever say a word to each other, Nothing. but we'll still try to scoop each other's nipples. Yeah. But we still won't say anything to each other if one of us actually gets something. I'll use his words exactly. He was like, nothing was said, only respect in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, my, that's my relationship with uh, Philip Burkett. We should get him and uh, his brother Alan onto the show. Yeah. Like, they're, they're really fun Yeah, people. definitely. Uh, my week has been... Here, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you this little this little anecdote. Anic- I was about to say Yeah, there, there you go. Um, <laughs> so about a week and a half ago... It all, this story all starts uh, with, with, with a thing of soup. Alyssa, st- it's always it's food. <laughs> it's always food. It, it, Alyssa decided to make this big thing of soup. We were, she was. We're trying to do like a three day dieting thing where what we did. What kind of soup are we talking? About? <sighs> it was fucking soup. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like chicken it soup. Tomato. It was like. What do you mean it was fucking like a soup? Chicken it was soup. Like, it was like a. It don't was like respect a, soup. It was like a meat based broth with like uh, beans and shit. It wasn't like a tomato. Like a chicken based broth. Or, like a vegetable beef soup. Uh, and it was like a beef sort of type of broth. You know? There we and go. She, and we made it. In the, in the, <laughs> there it is. We made it in the, in the crock there pot that we have. Uh, and, and it was like a big thing and we were supposed to have it over the, the next three days. And on the, the morning of the third day, we're not smart adults. We're barely adults. We see the we, moon. We, we, did not refrigerate, <laughs> we did not refrigerate this soup whatsoever. So oh. I woke up on the morning of the third day. I got a shit ton of mold oh. in this soup. So I was like, fuck, I got to deal with this now. And me, also being still a stupid adult who pr- doesn't know how to adult, just poured it down the drain. <laughs> oh. And that's when the sink decides, <laughs> I'm clogged. And oh. so all it, it, the sink is just filled with this shit. And I plunged my sink. 
It's little things like this that make me feel better about my intelligence around you. <laughs> um, it's like sometimes I can sound smart, yeah, but then yeah. I have these stories, and you're yeah. like, okay, I'm not that much of an idiot. Yeah. Um, and so we got um, like a metal snake, you know, not the fucking bullshit. None of that plastic one. shit. Yeah, the plastic one's never. None of that right. medium cheddar bullshit. And so <laughs> Alyssa being, sharp. And, and, and don't say I'm racist because she was the one who said, she was the one who said this. She was like, it's the Asian in me that I don't want to call a plumber yet. So we we just got to try to fix this ourselves. I feel like that, that, I don't think that's an Asian thing. I think every race has like that. Like, person they just hate plumbers yeah. no, no. She just to, she just to, it was like 25 bucks for the snake so we didn't want to call a plumber and spend like 120 bucks for a plumber so what happened was we started going down and we started pulling out some beans and i was like okay this was my fault but that wasn't it because we pulled out a good portion of the beans and the sink was still clogging up and we let it rest for a couple of days and it was still sort of fucked. And so the other day we we decided to go all in. We're like doing this for like a hour fucking, and a half, fucking two hours. Elbow deep. <laughs> like a wall of fucking human hair in this sink. Mm. And, and then you just had to take a picture on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying I, eating Who spaghetti. Let Dennis I, I was like, <laughs> I hope I, I when oh. I posted that, I hope I had ruined someone's day, and I'm, it makes me more you, happy. I, I was eating a plate full of spaghetti. I did not finish that plate of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we got through that. The sink is finally fixed, but yeah, that, that was my one little anecdote for uh, for this week. Uh, besides that, um, I did a I wrote a, a little piece that I want to shout out. The why I don't want The Last of Us Two. You can find it on our website bcgamers.com, uh, where I talk about my feelings for The Last of Us and why I wouldn't want a sequel. I'm really proud of the piece, so you might want to go check it out. Maybe I don't know. I'm really proud of the piece too. And not only can you read it, you can also listen. You can to also it. listen to it. I, I stole Alex's idea of uh, doing audio versions of. You you just did it way better than me. Uh, I, I did it way better though. Okay. <laughs> See, that's the thing is like I, I steal people's ideas and I just I just perfect them. That's the that's the thing. I mean, let's not like talking shit. The way we do talking shit now is literally the game over, Greggy show. But, but we do it worse. But I would not, you know, use the word perfect. I wouldn't like toss that around ever. <laughs> when I meet Greg Miller this, or when I when I see him again this weekend, I'm gonna be like, hey, I did this Last of Us two piece, and I think it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gonna think to himself, I'm never talking to this person ever again. <laughs> and then, and then high fives your ass. forehead, and then you explode. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, go go check that out. Um, the let's plays that we are doing this week are gonna be with Alex. Alex and I are gonna be playing Okage Shadow. So that that'll be fun. You should uh, you should check those out. Will that game be good or bad? Who I don't the know. fuck knows? Let, let's ask Barrett's childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking perfect. That's how good the game was. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, this was Talking Shit. It's BZG's weekly podcast where we bring in random topics of discussion. We talk some shit about those topics. If you like that, head on over to patreon.com slash BZG. Give us a dollar a month and you get every full audio version of the episode early before the video portion uh, rolls out on YouTube where the full episode is broken out topic by topic, Monday through Thursday, before the entire version of the audio episode is available on SoundCloud for everybody to listen to in their ear holes. And you can also, uh, you also get an exclusive Patreon episode every single month. We recorded our uh, Patreon exclusive last week. That was an interesting episode. It was like 40 minutes, not that long of an episode, and we had literally nothing to talk about. <laughs> it was just us talking about the weirdest shit, and then the last 15 minutes, we finally came up with a topic, which was who do who do we want to see in like the like uh, for Avengers Infinity uh, Infinity War, Infinity War or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Who do we want to see be like the new Avengers team? The so that was man. that was like the one sort of topic we had for the last part of Fantastic that. Fantastic Four, <laughs> Rob Space Knight. <laughs> Um, so Lee Harvey Oswald <laughs> for the first topic this week by the time this topic posts up on YouTube huh? uh, <laughs> it will be E3 this coming weekend so I thought it would be a good time to sit down and talk about our E3 predictions uh, and so I, I, I hit you guys up before, before we uh, re recorded the show and I was like I want you guys to come up with try to come up with two predictions for each of these uh each of these companies, we've got EA, Bethesda, Microsoft, Ubisoft, Sony, and Nintendo, question mark. Uh, so I, sort of I put a question mark as a Nintendo as well. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Nintendo maybe? So uh, we're, we're going to go around for like each company. So I'll start us off with EA, right? 
Because um, EA and Bethesda have their conference on Sunday, and then everybody else on Monday, and then Nintendo does their direct I thought, on Tuesday. I thought EA's slot is the same slot they had before on Monday. No, it, they're opening on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I looked in because I was like, oh, wow, they're doing they're not doing Monday. I thought that was interesting. So Prediction. They announced football. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another like sort of housekeeping thing. I believe we're going to do something special for E3 this year. I think uh, for the Monday conferences, we're going to record React videos for every single conference that goes on that day. And uh, we're going to try to get them up like all in that day. So uh, look out for that because we, uh, we, we might try to do that. Or maybe not. Who the fuck knows? Follow me on Twitter. Find out. Um, so the, the two predictions I have for EA is uh, Titanfall 2 gets a date. Mm-hmm. Almost definitely. And I, yeah. I put a specific date here. November 8th. It's, it, there's no other, like, Tuesday game coming out that month. Uh, the 8th was sort of free. The other games that are coming out that week are, like, Friday and, like, Wednesday. So I think that might be, like, a good time for Titanfall to come out. It's obviously got to be a fall game. Or I think we knew. It, it, didn't we know it was going to be a fall game, I believe? Yeah, they've confirmed it's yeah. uh, holiday 2016. Okay, so I, I think November, November might be a good good date for that especially if they come back with like the whole like hey we're gonna have a campaign and it's gonna be way better and whatnot uh and then my Isn't that exactly when call of duty comes out there that's Mar- november 4th the friday beforehand is when yeah call of, duty comes out. call of duty does the worldwide release the friday before um i'm still confident though that they're gonna do the eighth because i don't think that i don't think they're gonna be scared to back down from from call of duty this year especially because of all of the sort of shit the Call of Duty is getting right now, so I, I don't think... They they might have the balls to, like, sort of go up, sort of go up against uh, Call of Duty. When does Battlefield usually come out? <clears throat> October. Yeah, is that October this year? Almost well? always October. Okay. It's always the last weekend of October. So, uh, don't you think they will probably take that spot instead? I'm not, I'm not trying this year. No. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I uh, just like to interject. Yeah, I think Titanfall takes the typical Battlefield spot, and they put Battlefield 1 right up against Call of Duty in November. That's personally what I think. Okay. Did, have we gotten a Battlefield 1 date yet? No. No? no. Okay. That's just this year. That's all we know. My other prediction for EA, Visceral's game will be titled. We will get an official title. We'll get, like, a tease thing. It'll be like, hey, we're going to talk about Battlefront for way fucking way too long. And then, like, the last, like, sort of part about Star Wars will be like, oh, hey... And just don't forget, we've got this Amy Hennig Star Wars game that's going to come out in like two years. It's going to be a trailer and it's like... Hey, I would name. love... Yeah. My, my <laughs> pie in the sky is that their announcement for the title is just, it's Star Wars and then 1313 shows up below it. God. Star oh. Wars. Nut. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I really want that Boba Fett game and I think Amy Hennig would actually be a smart choice to direct that sort of story uh, especially, especially about a coming of age sort of person who is all about um, who's a clone who's a clone <laughs> fucking clone uh, but like <laughs> Who sort of like adventurous in a way, and we we haven't really got. What's his like metachlorian a, count? Fuck you. Um, <laughs> Three. <laughs> we haven't had like a full fledged like sort of development of like the adult, like young adult uh, version of Boba Fett. So I think it would could be uh, like a nice opportunity to give him some adventure, fun character aspects for him. Did so. you did you hear about that um the like idea? With the Boba Fett movie that they, that was rumored. That it's not going to, like, it's going to be about that's someone else taking Some over. guy killed Boba, the actual Boba Fett and took it took, took his armor. I, I do really like that theory. I was talking about that with my dad. What if, like, like, that's that, fucking awesome. Because they they haven't announced the Boba <coughs> Fett movie. What if, like, the Boba Fett movie is this game and that's what happens? Mm, How lit would interesting. that be? Interesting. I don't know if I would want a movie and a game, though. No, I mean there's no movie. Oh, it's and just this, like this, it's just the story this, is the this. game. Oh, okay, it is canon. So. Or yeah, it, canon, it, th- this game would be in their <coughs> canon. So I would like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. My question for you is, um, not being the biggest Star Wars fan, so forgive me for that. But like, um, no, what kind right. of personality would you think um Boba Fett would even have? I mean, cause <laughs> wacky. He's, he's a piece. Of sh- <laughs> he's a piece of shit in the uh, in Episode Two, just because they just ruined his Dad. entire. Character, yeah, he got um, decapitated in front of me. I'm not <laughs> fucked up forever because we haven't actually seen much of Boba Fett, so there's no personality. Um, I mean, he just looks cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, do you want something like a Nathan Drake for him? I don't want a Nathan Drake, but I do want like Boba Fett. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be Nathan Drake in the sense that he's gonna kill a shit ton of people, but like, it's 
I don't know if I want that exact personality, but uh, there's these Boba Fett books about like his journey from episode two to like episode four, I think. Mm. <laughs> and I read those. Uh, when oh, I was now look up. who's into the expanded universe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was in like middle school, and it doesn't even. They're really called count. legacies. Yeah. Shut on. up. <laughs> the Yuuzhan Vong is real to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and and in those series, he was sort of like. He was still sort of a piece of shit, but there was something endearing about him. Mm. Um, so I think I would like to see more of that, of, like, maybe he's sort of in between of, like, if, does he really want to follow in his father's footsteps, or does he maybe, like, want to use, like, uh, bounty hunting for good, and yada, yada, yada. I, I think I think that would be, I don't know. I wouldn't want exactly Nathan Drake, but I think maybe, like, near that scope, um, just with a little more of... Um, a conflict between, um, like, good and evil, I guess, in uh, in his bounty hunting career. Mm-hmm. Alex, uh, what do you got for me for your um, predictions? So, I had a few thoughts. I, I think, like, I tend to... It's going to be, like, a half hour of just no. him talking about his shit. His <laughs> thoughts are my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has, like, like, always been a no-show for the past, like, three years, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, like, where they just didn't have stuff to show. They're like, we're making these games, and they're taking way longer than Here's Payload. Here's Dragon Age. Garden Warfare 2. Here's Dragon Age 3. Hope you like that. Oh, whoops. Um, but <laughs> people did like it, Alex. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but they have games this year. So here's like the three tent poles of their conference. Mm. It's Titanfall Two, which yeah. I think is going to be awesome. I agree with you. It's going to get a date. Obviously, that's like they've already said that it's coming out this yeah. fall. Yeah. So, like, I think it's fully featured. Right, we get a little peak of the campaign, the multiplayer. We just kind of get a vast, like, it's a lot of stuff. Okay. And judging by. Uh, Respawn already hiring for their next this next title, which is a Spar- Star Wars game. I imagine Titanfall Two is going to be end of Titanfall, and they're going to be continuing on. To make yeah, there's cool no stuff. official. Respawn is the the developer for oh, Titanfall. Titanfall, and, and then who's the who's the developer? Uh, Mitch Dyer is working with now. Uh, this motive, EA, yeah. motive, EA, okay. EA motive. Okay, All which right. is helping Visceral. Yeah, they're helping Visceral. Or I don't think anything's been confirmed yet. If they're officially I don't know. That's, helping Visceral, I think I that's know. also uh, where um, what's her face, Jade, Jade Raymond. Raymond went, I mm-hmm. believe. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. um, so uh, it's Timefall Two again. That's coming out this year. They've already said that much. Looks cool. It's Mass Effect Andromeda. Finally, we know uh, what that game looks like. Okay. Right, like yeah. they have to show what that game is because it's coming out for three and months. And it's a real time strategy. It's a real time strategy. <laughs> I'm just curious. Top down RTS as to where yeah. it falls between like <laughs> Mass Effect One and Mass Effect Two. Is it more RPG or more action, or is it like trying to straddle line good. like Three did? Okay. Um, I I don't know. Like I don't know what to expect quality wise from that game. But I think we finally get like a look at the protagonists and, and kind of like where they're going with that. Yeah, we know nothing about that game. And it's a visceral Star Wars game. I agree <clears> with you. I think it's just going to be like a reveal trailer. Yeah. We get a title. We get a reveal. I don't think it's a horror game. I know you want it to be. I really want because there's this book, uh, the the Death Troopers Star Wars book that's about be like fucking this like awesome. fucking like store this uh, squad of stormtroopers who are dealing with this space disease, which is very up. Visceral's Alley so with Dead Space. So yeah, I was about to say it's just Star Wars just, Dead Space. Yeah, that'd be so fucking cool the, the, to play as a stormtrooper and like that kind of. In a star destroyer that no one. Else- Oh my god. That everyone else disappeared. Yeah, like the yeah. entire game is just in a star destroyer. Yeah, like, just like so the, the eeriness of the first two uh, Knights of the Old Republic, but with ex- expecting a uh, horror aspect to it. Mm-hmm. Like, not th- just the I eeriness just of it. Like, I can only get so erect, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> I really I'm losing blood in my head. <laughs> I really want to know what the inside of a star destroyer looks like because you never really get a clear image of it. Yeah, you only get really like the like the main like. Um, Here's the big table where we talk. Yeah, the, the, the big <laughs> yeah. table, but also like the. Um, in a hangar, like bag. the yeah, like the deck, like the main deck. The, the, the only thing, the, the only reason I say it's not going to be that is because the first story in canon Star Wars game that comes out is not going to be an M rated game. <sighs> But like it's so it, it just, cool. it just got to have that. But like, I, I think just to get one, one right? get more could, of a wider though, audience I, that way. I, I don't think it matters with story. I think you could your first like story based Star Wars game could be M rated because then you have Battlefront two, which will probably come out I even ju- before. I just don't think Disney would would like mm. not for the Has first there been one. Has an M rated yeah. Star Wars game? Uh, is Kotor M rated? No, I don't no, think so. I'm I think I don't think so. Of, um, is there sex in Kotor? 
Uh, no. I no. wish. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, and I don't, no, they only I don't go. think there has been. No. Yeah, the apprentice ones aren't either, so no. I um, doubt it. Star Wars Bounty Hunter, the greatest Star Wars license game ever made. Also if you want to watch uh, Let's Play of Bounty Hunter, there's an episode where Alex and I just go into a shit ton of nonsense. I've been drinking. So if you want to figure out why Alex has the name Master of Ass Down Face Up, you should watch that episode. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, those are kind of the three ten pulls of it. They also sports. Um, sports. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I they... was watching a video last night about like it was like now all of the E three predictions or videos are going up and uh, someone was talking about like yeah and they'll just like roll over sports because and but like everybody hates that part. And I'm like fuck you guys, man. I love Madden. I fucking. Soccer like, sucks. God. Soccer's <laughs> dumb. But like, hey, come on. I'm FIFA's, excited for FIFA's their best selling game every year. So. Um, Gotta but get. Let's bring out this market. old ass soccer they player s- who no one knows. They skipped Need for Speed last year, right? So Are you dissing be- Pele? Yeah. Pele's yes. the most iconic soccer player. But no one cared that he was there. It was wrong crowd. It was yes. the wrong crowd. wrong time, wrong crowd. That's all. And like, also weird to do like a one-on-one interview in the middle of a <laughs> fucking uh, conference. Now if they brought out the hoop god. <laughs> now if they brought out hoop god. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think yeah, Need for Speed comes back because they mm. skipped a year, right? Yes. So yeah, they want, I think they wanted to take time because the the most recent game wasn't that great, and mm-hmm. the movie the that FMB game, yeah. the movie was really bad, and that made me sad because Aaron Paul was in it, and I love Aaron Paul. Mm-hmm. And Kid Cudi. Apparently, was we're supposed to watch. Kid Cudi was in it. Yeah, Kid uh, Cudi. That was like his first real big movie. I gotta see that. <laughs> No, no. Uh, apparently we're supposed to watch The Path on Hulu. Okay. I watched the first episode. Good? Yeah, uh, it's pretty good. Okay, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, Colin Moriarty really loves it. Yep, my dad really loves it. it, and my mom really loves my it. My roommate was a... asking if it's good because it's got Aaron Paul in it. Yeah, I, I, I love that man. Yeah, I, I do too. He's so yeah, it's, it's Jack a, Horseman. <laughs> it's it's very easy to get lost in, like we did with Breaking Bad. It's okay. a really good okay. show. Good. Yeah. yeah. So any any other things? Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, like the those big temples, right? This real Star Wars game, Titanfall Two, which I think is going to be awesome. I think mm. like p- people are going to be immediately on board with Titanfall Two. Like okay. I, they have had so much time to respond to the criticism of Titanfall One, and yeah. I think like you know it's respawn. These guys made Call of Duty, the first Call. They created that franchise. Yeah. They know what the fuck they're doing. The good Call of Duty, and then. Uh, mm. Uh, Andromeda, yeah. So okay. yeah. Well, my th- my main thing was hoping for Andromeda mm-hmm. um, because they got to like, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, like it's yeah, it. it's it's a, it's that time out. already. Yeah, yeah it, we've been waiting for and too you're long. Jonesing for it too. I'm not jonesing for it. I'm more scared mm-hmm. and worried mm-hmm. about it because of how much they've been holding off. Mm-hmm. Um, That's totally valid too, as, especially coming from Ma- fucking Mass Effect three and already like leaving off like that. Yeah. That I'm not that excited for it, but Did hopefully. You know, Dragon Age Inquisition? I did. I didn't like it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It, we're, we're I really had it for not, a while, and I was trying so hard to get into it, and it just wasn't clicking. Really not super high fantasy people. Like, the only high fantasy thing you get into is Skyrim. Like, Elder... Yeah, if I'm getting into high fantasy, it's just, like, Elder Scrolls, and then everything else I try to, and I really can't. Everything else yeah. is just a little too much Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the only high fantasy thing when it comes to video games I could get into is uh, The Witcher, uh, weirdly enough. Uh, it's a good one to get into, though. Yeah, it is. It mm-hmm. is. But did you have anything else to add? Any um, expectations? I mean, with with EA, it seems so obvious as to what they were going to do. Like, yeah. I figured like Titanfall was going to be a thing because that's mm-hmm. another one where it's like it's that time yeah. you've had enough room to like. There are fit. robot swords in Titanfall too. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about yeah. that. Yeah, seriously. Gundams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and I then just I just want a Gundam game. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, Titanfall two, uh, short like two seconds of Star Wars, and then Philip. No, they're gonna. They're gonna take their fucking sweet ass on yeah. Hours. yeah. Um, and then fill in the gaps with sports <laughs> as yeah. much as they can. Yeah. Uh, that's really all I had for you. Yeah, they, re- they. I think that is a, a good point. They should like fill in gaps in between with sports because they had that long sports section. Yeah. I think if you break that out, it might it might be a better paced uh, press conference. Like, because last year's was yeah. Hopefully, so if they take slow. any notes from last year, yeah. just kind of spread it out a little bit. What they should do is like do like what Microsoft or Sony does, where it's like, and now. Our digital lineup. (laughs) (laughs) Just clips of everything. It's super interesting because, like, this is EA's first not, it's not an E3 press conference, right? It's independent. 
it's outside the there. So like, uh, yeah. it's, it's open to the public. So there's just gonna be dudes in this press conference, yeah. like people off the street. Yeah. So like the it's sports, a bunch, of, a bunch of like homeless people. They're all jerking it. <laughs> <I> love Pele. <laughs> <laughs> the sports stuff would be way more appropriate there because like they have those sports games. More, fans yeah, there, it's gonna be so. uh, accessible to more like a general audience. Mm-hmm. Uh, like gamers like us, we don't like the sports games, but those are always the best selling. Like year Fuck after you. year, sports games are awesome. Soccer isn't my thing, but Madden gets definitely underrated when it comes to uh, RPG elements. Again, the last Madden game I bought was Madden 10. So I mean, but you and I played the best 16, one. and yeah. 16 was really, really good. So 16, Yeah, uh, everything in between 10 and 16 I didn't like, because yeah, it was just like, eh, what am I going to do? NBA is uh, EA, right? No, no, that's, that's 2K. 2K. Yeah. No, was, NBA Live is EA. Who right. yeah. cares about NBA Live? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Nabishin, uh, what, what do you have for us for EA? Um, there's not that much I can really think of, honestly. Like, um, like there's stuff I want, and like you know, like for instance, like you know, like the Mass Effect HD collection or whatever. Yeah. So like, hopefully, could tie into like Mass Effect and drama in some way, because you know how in Mass Effect Three ended. You know, there's not really much you can really do hope with that. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but, um, you know, EA still hasn't done any HD collections. They're not holding their breath that yet. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. it's um, interesting though, because. Uh, their big Microsoft's big thing last year was that one of the Mass Effect games was like backwards compatible. So right. it's interesting to see if like they even want to do that because they've already sort of got like their collection on the Xbox One. But it's, it's weird though because with um, they digitally on Xbox 360, only Mass Effect is um, available. Uh, not Mass Effect 2 and not Mass Effect 3. Okay. So and weird. I'm assuming that's because they had multiple discs or whatever. Or yeah. I figured they'd put focus on Mass Effect 2, considering that's the one everybody... Yeah, multiple everybody discs. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's in the living times, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I think that was the same for L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir wasn't available digitally, because I think that was several discs. Yeah, just one yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, Fucking PS3 three. champions... <laughs> huh? PS3 champions. That was a total we like just did. missed. Moment. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> and was PS3 so ready. champions. What? <laughs> Where did you go? What are you talking about? What about it? But well, like, like PS for PS3, you get everything on one disc. Oh yeah, uh, three hundred and sixty was, was yeah, three hundred and sixty was. I like trash. I like of um, if I were to make like some like like out there prediction, I think they um, EA is gonna bring back one of their old franchises that they try to do and it didn't work out like something like Army of Two. Mm. Oh, I would love to see yeah. a new Army of Two yeah. game. Yeah. What does that look like in 2016? Yeah, like, that would actually be because I always thought that was a cool concept right. but it, <laughs> it, it would never like it never really panned out because they did two of those, right? They did they three. three. Oh, three. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I didn't even know exactly. about the There was a oh. really weird moment where like you know, remember those 1001 li- list books that were really popular? There was like they had the 1001 games you have to play before you die and one of them was the 40th day. And pretty much yeah, out of like, all of them, what the hell is this doing? <laughs> <laughs> that was like the one out of the one thousand and one. They're like, oh, we should probably. Yeah, I mean, they've got. Uh, they're doing Mirror's Edge. Yeah, that's yeah. the only reason why oh, I think they, yeah. they, it's a possibility. I'd love to see them like announce any Dead Space because I'd love to see what that looks like on PS4 if it like gets back. My to son. <laughs> <laughs> if it gets yeah. back to like actual horror games, do you play three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They, I like. I don't think they would. They could do a soft reboot in universe with like a different protagonist. Oh, yeah, 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 like no more Isaac Clarke. Yeah, like because that way we can just forget so about three altogether. With the way, did you finish the DLC for three? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Right? <laughs> what? Are we gonna get an explanation for this? <laughs> no. Yo, like a bunch of uh, uh, space monster moons attacked Earth. I yeah, guess. yeah. What is this? The last book of Ender's game? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. What is this? Chewie being crushed by a moon? <laughs> it's like that was the best part. Of it's that. Isaac. What the fuck's his name? Uh, fuck. I played as him the whole game. Don't yeah. Isaac, Clark, <laughs> Isaac and like the co op oh, no, guy, yeah, yeah. They, they, they warp back to Earth. They're like, oh, Earth's good. And then from behind the Earth comes like four yeah. like, necromorph <laughs> moons, and you're like, oh, what? And then it ends. <laughs> <laughs> the stupidest uh, fucking thing. Henry what, what, what do you got for us for EA shit <laughs> <laughs> none so what are fucking th- moons <laughs> <laughs> some things that I predict EA knows that the sports conferences aren't popular so at one of them they're going to have something to to like try to get people back where it's like something different mm, mm. of like now in Madden we have but something they don't have in Madden I don't play sports games 
I mean, I, I really think Madden, Madden 16. <laughs> <laughs> That's Basketball fucking true, game. though. Madden, now featuring the Hoop God. It's, the biggest point ever made on the show. <laughs> it's just Madden, except you dunk on the fucking, like, the touchdown lines. It's like, get douche. They have, like, a hockey. They're trying to, like, take uh, Rocket League's idea. They're, they just have, like, different modes for different sports. <laughs> Madden, hockey mode. Madden, <laughs> basketball mode. That would be um, great if they, like, condensed it all, but they'll never do that. I, I mean, I, I really liked Madden 2016. I think the one thing that they could add, and they it actually might be in this, I just haven't looked into it enough, is, like, a lot of people like the um, like the Ultimate Team stuff. And I actually, now that I'm Like they it, did for... Um, FIFA, basically. For were, were, NBA? Yeah, but, like, the... Uh, where you could play as, like, like any friend, time period? Well, no, yeah, where our friend Jack, you know, where he, like, uh, collects the cards, and, like, that's, like, his team. Oh, right, so right, right. I think that could be Gotta added. get that Mezzi, son. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my so God. I think that would be like interesting to, to bring in. But besides that, like, I, I think... 16 was was really really good so it's it's going to be hard to see what they would improve on uh it, it worries me cuz like they might try to think of like oh what gameplay mechanics can we improve on and then they just fucking ruin it cuz that's let me tell you, sons, that's what happened with MLB sons. 14. <laughs> MLB man. The Show 14, where those fucking controls were perfect, where, you know, to swing a bat, you had to bring the analog stick back and then forward, and then... That's 15, when you took the Indians to the World Series. That's when I took the Indians <laughs> the to the only World time. Series, and it's the only time I'll ever see that happen. Uh, and then for MLB The Show 15, they took away, the, like, the fucking ta- uh, bringing the analog stick back. Stupid. And for someone who played baseball, like, in real life, that really fucked up my timing. Yeah. So they fucked with the controls and god fucking damn it. EA, br- um, EA brings back backyard baseball. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Mario Sluggers? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Mario Sluggers was really It fun. was good. Yeah, Who doesn't love good. Mario Sluggers? Serious. It's good. That was GameCube? Yeah. yeah. I actually still that, have that GameCube. They did a Wii one as well. Yeah, same. Oh, fuck the Wii. No one liked the Wii one. <laughs> no one liked the Wii. <laughs> That's not true. Listen, no one likes the Wii. Wii. <laughs>